Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. And we are here on the Island of Death, getting ready to start selling a ton of the fossils that we actually discovered using the expedition teams from Rooster's Island, and also turning our research center back on. Even though uh, we don't make a ton of money with that research center, let me go ahead and find it, there we go. We need to keep it on because by having it activated, that will give us two research centers and vastly expand what we can actually research when it comes to the different traits that we can add on our dinosaurs, including longer lifespan, which is what I want to do. I want to learn how to cheat death. I have gone too far on the science track now, and I am with all of the scientists. I want to learn how to cheat death with my beautiful dinosaur creations. We spend so much time investing in their brief and short lives. We spend so much time trying to figure out what, what their little personalities are, and then they're dead. And so we're going to try to start unlocking a ton of the other research. Robust digestion. We want to get some reaction speed, some brain aging to slow down so that the, the dinosaurs will hopefully live a little bit longer and longer lifespan and resilience. So that's what I really, really want. Uh, we cannot really afford to do research on the second island, but I'm hoping we'll be able to do research on the first island. Oh, there we go. And these are all fossils that we actually collected when we were over on the big island. Uh, let's go ahead and extract the DNA, even if it's just a little bit. Oh, there we go. And a brand new one here. Uh, and the low quality fossils, we're gonna go ahead and sell so that even if it's the Draco Rex alpha, we don't have that one unlocked yet, phooey. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and sell that so we have a little bit more money because we are broke as beans on the second island and I'm really struggling to make it interesting for our guest and kind of get their attention. So let's come over and see what we can incubate. We do have this new dinosaur that we have never unlocked before and now we have enough money to incubate it. Let's go ahead and look if we modify its genome. We can unlock it with an arid pattern, which would actually make the interest for it jump up by a whole bunch. That would jump up by seven on its ratings. And the higher the ratings, the more guests will show up, the faster we can earn money and get stuff done here. And then if we altered the defense for it, let's see, skin toughness would increase a little bit. Uh, aggressive instincts might make it more aggressive, but it would actually increase it a little bit. And then we could do intensive repair. All of those things only increase it a teensy bit. I'm not sure if it's worth it. It would give it more attack and defense, but we're not going to really be fighting our dinosaurs, so we're good. So let's go ahead and we'll give it the arid pattern, even though we haven't seen what the normal pattern looks like yet, and incubate it. And what are we going to name this little one? I'm pretty excited. Hopefully this will go, this will go well. Uh, let's see. And I, I actually have a random generator now to start picking a whole bunch, there we go, of your guys' comments so that we can pick up a really good name uh, and hopefully have a good time just like naming some of the dinosaurs after you guys too. So if you would like to be named after a dino, just let me know. And oh dear. I am trying. Now I think it's my security experts who are who are sabotaging us. Give me just a second. I'm going to turn this one back on. There we go. Since somebody has sabotaged my other one, uh, that's one way to get around people being fussy is just having two power stations and leaving one deactivated most of the time so that you never have to worry about your dinosaurs breaking out. But yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get the Island of Death interesting for all of our guests, I think. And I think the biggest thing that we could really do is add in a hotel. The clothing shop would increase shopping. Uh, we have a gift shop too. Is it doing anything? It's making us like 44 because we're selling lunch boxes. We could also sell night vision goggles. Now that would be cool on this island. Hey, we should have plenty of power. There we go. All right, now we've got plenty of power and now I can go ahead and I can deactivate this one. All right, and our brand new dino is ready to release. And I'm actually laughing because this name is probably going to crack some of you guys up. Uh, and can I actually do just a pinch of research about it really quickly? Uh, let's see, right over here. All right, from the middle Jurassic era, Height is about 2.2 meters, which is going to be somewhere above like six feet, <laughs> which is much taller than me. Oh my goodness. 
And the weight is three tons. I am beginning to understand why I pay our rangers $20,000 every single time they need to do anything. So this is going to be interesting. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, let's go ahead. Release. Our brand new, beautiful, arid patterned dinosaur named Henry. That's right, Henry. I actually rolled our little random generator to try to make sure we can really bring you guys into this park, really help you experience building it together with us. And I actually rolled the random generator a couple times just to see if I could get like a really interesting name. And both times it said Henry. So to all of you who have wished for one named Henry, he is now roaming on our land, or I guess I should say she, because technically all of the dinosaurs are female. Some of you guys say they're male, they just don't breed, but eh. I, I like the lore that they're all female and that's why I don't get the glory of being able to see a bunch of adorable little eggs laid, which will happen in a future thing. Not so worried. Yes, all right, we finished a contract. Henry, welcome, welcome to the family. Uh, we need to add a little bit more forest for Henry to really be happy though. So let's go ahead and change that up really quickly. A uh, little bit over here, a little bit over here. Is that better for you? There we go. All right. So that's in the happy range for Henry. And yeah, the <laughs> our roosters could care less. They're, they're very happy no matter what. We have got the stars hopefully going up a little bit. The money is starting to go up. And I think, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful dino. So let's come down here. Social is a little low, so we might want to make a second one of it pretty darn soon. Uh, and let's see what other facts we can learn about. Like all stegosaurids, uh, the Henrys eat from ground herbivore feeders. They are armored and possessed spike tails capable of inflicting damage to other dinosaurs. They live in modest sized social groups and are relatively tolerant of dinosaurs from other species, but don't like to feel overwhelmed. They need a good sized territory with plenty of grassland and a slightly smaller area of forest. So that's wonderful. They're an armored herbivore, appetite of 77, comfort threshold is about 50. They can get the common cold. They're immune to the common cold, excuse me, and susceptible to bracken poisoning, which is what you get if you eat too many weird, uh, weird bracken or weird ferns that are from all around the world here. So we're going to have to remember that. Gosh, it's really beautiful. Oh, I would love to come see this one. I wish, can we expand this exhibit? Uh, I might want to look into doing that because I feel like this is a little small and it's kind of like a secondary hatching field. Um, so it looks like we've got some more. Where's my the edge of my building? Whoa, I can expand all the way down here. Nice. All right. Well, how far can our viewing gallery go? Let's go ahead and expand the gate, like the fencing, all the way to where the edge of the viewing gallery's uh, area is, which I think is like down here. And this is going to be an expensive expansion for such a small, puny island that we don't have that much money on. Uh, but hopefully it will add in a lot more room and it will please our dinosaurs, which is important to me. Make sure that they are well taken care of. Make sure that their well-being is nice. Because if you think about it, I mean, what's the point of bringing them back from the dead if you're just going to treat them pretty badly? You know what I mean? That's not cool to me. All right, so there's plenty to view and hopefully, oh, that's right, that's right. Guest, I want to unlock, I want to unlock the bigger viewing platform for the enclosure areas. I want to get, there's the storm defense thing, which I probably need to, whoa, storm incoming, a storm defense. Oh my gosh, there's a storm coming. Okay, 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 okay. Then I definitely want to get the storm defensey thing down like now. Um, where should I put it? Okay, quick, 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 build, build, build. I probably need to call people in to, okay, where do, right over here, I guess? Uh, here, let's swing it around this way because it'll probably need, there we go. It'll, it'll probably need to like, I hope that works. Okay, storm warning, storm warning, emergency shelter. Open the shelter, please. There's a storm coming <laughs> for the first time. Everyone, uh, please, no panicking. Everyone, just remain calm but calmly escort yourselves. This is our first storm, oh my goodness. Okay, now's the time. Trees are a natural protective barrier against unforeseen winds, okay? 
I have reason to go ahead and, and pop this down. So this is a storm defense station. Uh, and again, you don't learn what they do till you try building it, which I kind of like. Uh, storm defense stations help protect your park against natural defenses, huh? Many islands are vulnerable to intense tropical storms. These can cause severe damage to your facilities. All right. Storm defense stations are the reward for completing the security division mission on the first island. Storm defense stations protect nearby buildings from storm damage. Okay, then I should have built that by all of my actual... Okay, so it's going to protect those. All right. I need another storm defense station, like, right here, right now. It's got to protect all of these very delicate scientific instruments. Get on the ground. Oh, my gosh. Where am I going to put you? It cannot be built, like, anywhere because it's like, no, no, I, I don't like it here. This is a little crowded. Okay, let's try. Can I put you right there? Okay, thank goodness. And what do you mean no power? Oh, I should have protected my, my power stations immediately. Thankfully, we have two power stations. Come on, you. Activate. All right, a structure has been damaged. So one of the substations back here has been damaged. We've got that. That's actually right close to my ranger station, I think. There we go. Ranger team, come over here and fix this. Jeez. Now I have to build all this expensive stuff literally right after. Okay, but we've got protection on all of this now from our storm defense station. And over here, we have got protection from all of this. And then over here, we've got protection over here. All right, thank goodness. This is actually a really good spot for hotel, by the way. I say in the middle of this gigantic tropical storm. <laughs> uh, but it's a really good spot for hotel because it's right next to the arrival point. Incubate, hatch, and release at least four new dinosaurs. All right, I could totally get behind that. I think I need to curry some attention with security on this island soon though. Oh, and the storm's over. Well, that was cool. All right, let's go ahead and close the shelter. We only have one shelter at the moment. Uh, and then everybody can come on out. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah, we got this. We got this. It did surprise me, but we still have this. All right, let's actually come over. And we're going to incubate another one of these guys. It's going to literally take all of our current funds. <laughs> But I don't want Henry to be lonely, so uh, he's going to want some attention. Oh, and I hear somebody making some fuss. All right, and how is the newly expanded forest for you, my friend? There we go. So forest is much more satisfied now. Uh, grassland is up there. We had our storms. Oh, come back here, Henry. There we go. So I think he's happy. And I guess we'll just call them both boys and girls because they're dinos. Uh, however, I do like, like I said, I like the fact that the lore goes that they're all female and that's why they're not laying the eggs that can be fertilized and have hatched new dinosaurs. Uh, though that is kind of interesting because a lot of female species of birds like chickens will lay eggs anyway. And it's just part of what they do. So it's kind of interesting they don't include that, but this is beautiful by the way. Hi, Henry. I really, really like... <laughs> Look at that. Look at those spikes. You know what it reminds me of? Kind of watching a porcupine move around. Have you guys ever seen a porcupine move around? Because it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. All right, let's see. Almost done here. Nice! And look at all these guests! So many people! So many people! And they're bringing in a little bit more money. And now there's a power outage because my security team is mad at me. <sighs> it's a good thing we have two powers. All right. Well, let's come over. Ranger Station. They're, they're so fussy with each other, I swear. All right. We'll come over here and fix that up. And let's go ahead and release Tankia. Hello, my dear. You are going to be... Look at our roosters. I love how they have to survey everything that's going on. Make sure it's all up to snuff. Oh, what a cute little... Oh, that was an adorable little bark. Oh, gosh. And actually, a lot of you have been linking to... And this is going to be Tankia, by the way. There we go. 
but a lot of you have been sharing links to the videos where scientists have actually reconstructed the vocal cords and tried to reconstruct what it would have sounded like to hear the dinosaurs. And I, I love that. To hear them roam, we're going to remove that. I think I'm going to reduce the shrub, like the trees, just a little bit over here. Like straight down this way. There still should be enough forest for, yeah, there's, uh, they'd like a little bit more forest, but they're happier with the grassland. So I think I need to expand it again and we'll add forest to the very back. And then our guests will be able to see uh, Henry and Tinkia and all the roosters a little bit better. All right, that's good. Wow, there's a lot of guests now. What is that? Oh, that's my ranger team. <laughs> I thought it was like some sort of escapee uh, and it alarmed me for a minute. Let's see, do we want to incubate? I think... I mean, I like these new ones a lot. I kind of just want to wait and get more Henry's. Because social is up a little bit, but population could do a little bit better. Oh no, a disease has been contracted. Which one? Henry? Oh, bracken poisoning, of course. So they've been eating a little bit too much. Uh, I say of course, but that's just the one that they're susceptible to. So requires bracken poisoning. <gasps> I don't have that researched! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Where is it? No, wait, medical treatment, medical treatment. Quickly. All right, go, 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 go. Come on. Are you researching it? Research it, okay. So this is gonna be a darted medical treatment and this is actually going to make it so that we can treat bracken poisoning. Uh, I'm going to want to go ahead and make sure that we go back to the big island next time, I think. We're going to do, good job, our finances are going up, but we're going to do a lot more research on the big island uh, and very, very aggressively go after all of those fossils that we just cannot afford to do here on the island of death. But we are going to defy death on the island of death by making sure that we research everything to expand the lifespan and to really focus on making our dinosaurs as healthy and happy as possible and also hopefully making our guests as happy as possible so that they will hurry up and give me more money because <laughs> I need some cash okay and we definitely need a hotel I think that the hotel it was a, such a smart move on the first island because it really really increased how much we could do dang it and now both of them Hen Henry and Tinkia have eaten some bad ferns they've eaten some bad bracken all right but we can we can heal them up now all right let's add task and we're going to medicate both of them phew all right Oh, that's going to be very good once we get that done. And we probably want to consider, since there this is a viewing gallery over here, let's deactivate this other power station. Yeah, we don't need power over here, buddy. We've got... What do you mean the expedition center doesn't have enough power? There we go. We should, we should have plenty of power in just a second here. Why are you fussing? You should have plenty of power. I have excess power that you can use. Yeah, don't, well, don't hook yourself up to that power station. Because I have six unused power. I guess, oh man, did this go up? Oh, it requires 10 power. All right, well, we're going to have to do some research on upgrades so that we can keep, I guess I'm going to have to keep that going all the time now. So might as well, since I have to have two power stations up and going all the time now, we might as well start incubating some other dinosaurs to put over here. But I want to try out some new ones. We haven't tried some new ones yet, and I, I really... Oh no, Grasshopper! What have you contracted? Oh no, maybe the new, the new expanded area that I let them into uh, actually, actually had some sort of diseases. Turn around! Get Grasshopper! Don't let Grasshopper become sick. And then let's add another one of the Henrys in here. Now that we can, we know we can take good care of them. And they actually seem to give us, let's see, incubate. They seem to give us a lot of, of stars, a lot of attention. How's this island doing? All right, poor variety of dinosaurs. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But maybe we'll try to provide a little bit more variety <laughs> as soon as we have enough money. So, uh, what? The egg failed to hatch. Do you know how much money I just spent on that? $200,000. Oh, dear. All right. Well, the good news is that we happen to have some new Henrys. Uh, in fact, let's actually turn around. What do you mean? I, I don't even have enough money to... I don't even have enough money to restock my feeder. There's something kind of sad about that. Where are my Henrys? 
Woo! A little bit steep back here. Where'd they go? Are they roaming in the forest? Can I take a picture of them? I just wanted to take a quick picture to try to earn some quick cash. Put it on our, our dinosaur-based Instagram, I suppose. Uh, all right, there we go. Hello, my dear. You were literally hiding right behind a tree. You want to lift your head at all? I mean, it looks nice. What? The rarer the dinosaur, the more you get money. Huh. I didn't realize that. I, I just kind of like assumed that it was only like a couple hundred dollars a piece. But I had no idea. I guess I guess the thing is, as much as I love the roosters, pardon me, water, uh, as much as I absolutely adore the roosters, other people aren't quite as enamored with them as I am. Hey, come back here. Because this one, well, that's 800. Not bad. All right. Well, that wasn't that wasn't terrible, but it's not enough to get us another Henry. So we'll have to work on that. We have expanded this area though, and I feel like we're making a little bit of progress. So let's get some new dinosaurs. I'm ready. I'm ready for more variety too. So I will see you guys back on the other island next time, where we are really going to. Oh, thank goodness they're resupplying that. Where we are really going to crack away at the fossils, the research, and hopefully extracting enough DNA that we can really get some new dinosaurs and see some variety. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.